Are you all ready for this? We've got An Idiot Abroad, Season 2, Episode 1, Desert Island, and I am super excited about this. But what, what's, there's something wrong with this. There's something wrong with this video. When I am excited, I am not down here. I am way up here, guys! <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot wait to watch this. I was told to uh, skip the, like, preview thingy majiggy because it had, like, a lot of spoilers and stuff that I didn't want to hear about. But all I know and, and the first thing I heard when I was skipping it is bucket list. So... It has to do with that, but I was told skip it, skip it, skip it because, yeah, it's just going to ruin a lot of things and there's like a lot of scenes and stuff and it's quite pointless. So we're not going to watch that. Ever. Or at least until like the last one. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. No, that's it. I'm just excited. Let's go. I got nothing to say. Desert Island is weird though <laughs> because... Like if it's bucket list, I'm it's I'm a little confused why we're starting at a at a desert island, but whatever, it's fine. Let's let's just jump right in. That is a long list. Hundred things is a lot. I don't I don't know if I can make a list of a hundred things. I could, like I can't even think. Well, maybe maybe if I get down to it. But like after a while, after like the first twenty, you're like. I have no idea. I just start writing down like random things. Hmm, I want to ride a donkey while on a surfboard and that donkey has to be wearing a rainbow jumper. <laughs> it just gets weird, doesn't it? I don't know. I'll try one day and let you guys know how it goes. Anyway, let's watch this. If I was on my deathbed, yes. there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Oh, Easy, wait, boys. There's still stuff. Yeah, I did. Oh, this is happening. Yeah. Okay. You, you right, minute thirteen. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought the intro was over and I didn't want to see stuff. I saw him. I saw him on the dogs. That's all I saw though. I'm not even. I, okay, we're good. We're good. There. You, have you heard of the term bucket list? Yeah. What yeah, do you it's understand like, it to be? Well, it's things to do before you die, isn't it? We've sort of compiled a top hundred that we've taken from loads of, loads of lists, and these I seem to be the most popular one hundred things to do before you die. Anything you fancy there? Flying a fighter jet. Forget that. What's the sort of things you've heard of in the past as a typical bucket list? It's daft stuff. Right. Uh, skydiving. Mm -hmm. Bungee jumping. Why is that daft, though? Because it's not worth doing that sort of thing. I think it's dangerous. But well, why do you think people do it, then, if it's pointless? Because they're idiots. <laughs> sort of gel perm hair types. Yeah. Australians, sort of... You're not jealous of their hair, are you? <laughs> no, I just mean it's that sort of... Go, they go, woo! Yeah, normally I'd avoid them. I'd go, yeah. I don't want to know them sort of people. Right, go down the list, OK. Well, I think you'll find that jumping out of a plane probably is on here, and as is bungee jumping, but there's obviously... Uh, there's a hundred options here of things to do before you die. I mean, like... Being on a private desert island, even though I'm not go. that interested. Right. I prefer that than doing the dangerous stuff. So, should we tick that? Spend a night on your own private desert island? Just at one night. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Like, just one night, because I don't trust Ricky. Like, a week is very different, but just like one night, we can, we can deal with that. Carl can deal with that, but like, I don't, <laughs> I don't trust him. And Carl shouldn't either. But what am I doing then? Just chilling out. Hanging out. It's, it'd be sunny. You just walk around naked. How do you know it'd be sunny? No, I wouldn't do like, that. Why? There's no one there. Just walk around, no. you know, well, like nature. Group. Completely naked, no, as no, God I intended. I still wouldn't do it. I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Well, if you're doing that one, we're confiscating your pants when you land. Just because you never know. One not Crusoe who was on there? Who? The Friday cropped up. Who? Robinson Crusoe. Yeah. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have walked around with his knob out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Friday cropped up. That's what I'm saying. You think no one's there. A boat comes in, a, a cruise with a load of tourists. I'm stood there with knobbing bollocks out. Anyway, it's sand and that. It's not good to be nude in the sand. <laughs> nude. OK, uh, spend a night on... It's the same. <laughs> sand gets everywhere. Clothes doesn't stop sand from creeping everywhere. Like, OK, I, I imagine... I can't speak from personal experience, but I imagine... Sitting nude in the sand would be, you know, a little bit more hazardous than with shorts or pants on. But sand still kind of just creeps up everywhere, so, eh, whatever. <laughs> like, it ain't stopping that. On your own that. desert island, in your pants. Yeah? You can go a bit mad, though, can't you? 
<laughs> Not in a day. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I was there, you could. Hello, Carl. Steve, mate. How's it going? All right. Um, good news. We found you a lovely little desert island, all right, in a place called Vanuatu, which is in the South Pacific. Beautiful. <gasps> Pretty. I always wanted to go to but, New Zealand. Um, Ricky and I were chatting and we thought it was a bit mad for you to go all the way to your desert island and, and not stop off in New Zealand, which is a great place to experience what is probably the ultimate bucket list classic, the bungee jump. Jesus. Poor guy. Why? <laughs> no. This is so mean. My information of this up to now is, first of all, he did season one. He agreed to it. He hated it. They made him miserable. They did everything in their power to change his plans, to just do everything to make him just miserable. I don't think there's another word for it. At the end, he was so mad. He's like, forget season two. Screw that. He found out they were calling it an idiot abroad. He wasn't happy about that. He was like, he told Ricky to forget season two like a million times. Then, oh, there's a season two. And everybody's like, it's okay, though. It's better because it's, I, I was under, I was under under the influence doesn't sound right. That sounds like I'm drunk or drugged. I was under the impression. <laughs> oh, God, whatever. I was under the impression that it was his bucket list, not it was like a random bucket list where he had to choose stuff. I was under the impression it was actually his personal list that he wrote, and it was like everything on the list was something he would have wanted to do. So everybody's like, oh, it's better because it's a bucket list. He gets to choose and blah, blah, blah. And they're still <laughs> making him miserable. So I, I just... I. It's, I get his money and this, and he, everybody's saying, you know, Suzanne wanted a new house or whatever, but, like, he has to learn by now that all the worst things on that list are the things he's going to be doing, right? I mean, come on. We could Carl. have gone straight to the desert island, but instead we've come all the way here for a pointless occasion because it's not going to happen. Ah. I said I'm I've not bungee jumping. i to do that. When we talked about the whole bucket... <laughs> Absolutely love the team of people that edit this. It's amazing. Just his voiceover saying, I'm not doing this. I'm not bungee jumping and just putting all the stuff on it. It's absolutely brilliant. Just brilliant. I love this. Whoever, just this whole thing, the show as a whole is freaking beautiful. And um, I've always wanted to try bungee jumping, but I'm scared of dying. So I always thought it'd be cool over water. There are not a lot of places that do it over water, unfortunately, for some reason. It's always on over like the, a place where if the rope or whatever, if something goes wrong, you're going to die. It's always like very rocky and it's always over, like over broken glass and shards and just all kinds just broken needles it's like always it's never over like a cloud or you know a trampoline so if you fall i like i don't know something fluffy mattresses nope it's always really dangerous and i've always wanted to do it over water and uh, i heard a story of a place in argentina way down south where they were you know doing that and i saw a bunch of videos and people were loving it and blah blah, blah. i was like we gotta go do that i was telling my boyfriend making plans everything it was never gonna happen, but it was like in the back of my mind, one day, one day, we'll go do that. And after like two weeks that it opened or whatever, uh, and I saw a bunch of videos, they were promoting it and stuff, somebody died. It was over water and the, the cord broke and the guy drowned because they had no boat to get to him and it was just, so that was no more, like they shut them down. So mm, that I, I wasn't happy about that. So I don't know if I'd ever do it, but I want to. Get this thing and Steve was going, oh yeah, bungee jump, bungee jump, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, of course not. I said I'm not bungee jumping. You are not. When we talked about the whole right. bucket list thing and Steve was going, oh yeah, bungee jumping, that's that's what people want to do. They might, but I don't. And this is meant to be my bucket list. I've been on the world now for 38 years. I don't need to introduce this now. Oh, fucking hell. I'm just creating a new problem if I do get into bungee jumping. I don't want to change, I don't want to get into this. See, look oh, at that. It's a look death trap. Oh, his face. Poor Focus thing. on that mountain. Nah, forget it. Yes. No. And you're going to die there. No, nah, I don't want it. It's, it's so no. hey, Honestly, go. you'll be coming up saying, I need to do that See, again. What was that so noise? I, I just made a noise I've never heard come from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's that noise again. 
You're going to go for no. this. Yes, you are. No. You have got oh, it, mate. No. Yours. Looking up. No, forget it. Forget it. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No, this is cute. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. This is your it. chance, bro. Man the fuck up. Man up, boy. Tough enough, Snowflake. Come on. Right, stop talking a second. Just give me brain just a chance to count myself in. They're going to push him, aren't they? <sighs> Poor guy. Do it. Just do it. Can't there be like a pile of mattresses no. under? Forget it. I've, I've, honestly, yeah, forget it. I've bottled it. I've bottled it. He what? How's it going? How's it going? I'm in New Zealand. <laughs> that wasn't on the list. <laughs> Bungee jumping. <laughs> All the talk of the, about him not being nude anywhere and there's no need. I totally thought he was naked. I'm like, why are they filming him like that? Also, first impression, I thought he was on the toilet. <laughs> Because all his interviews are always in the bathroom. Crop, how's it going? <sighs> I'm in New Zealand. That wasn't on the list. <coughs> Bungee jumping cropped up day one. <clears throat> What's the point? Well, I always thought it might be funny if you, you know, overcame your fears. It would be, a, it would be a triumph. That's often the case, isn't it, with things you don't try? People say, oh, I don't like that. And you go, you ever tried it? No. But yep. then you try it and you, you like, I you know, I didn't like asparagus. <laughs> couple of years ago. I love it now. Very, no, that was the same comparable. with olives. But you can't put it in the same category. No. I, I made a noise when I was stood up there looking down. I have never heard the noise come out of me. It was sort of like a <laughs> noise. I've never done that. <laughs> oh, God. Like a little bald Wookiee. Honestly. Oh. You didn't do it, no? But, uh, no. Now, you're probably kicking yourself. You are annoyed that... that... Um, Steve wanted you to do it, and you backed out. Because if you're scared to do something, then you should. No, do I wasn't. It. I wasn't no, scared. Will you stop saying the no. scared thing? Yeah, you but were. You had a chance to redeem yourself, because I've arranged for you to go where bungee was actually invented. Okay, and this island is also known as the happiest place in the world. So, no moaning. No moaning. I'm gonna go and see where the bungee was invented. Let's see what difference it makes about seeing where something was invented. It's not even a proper invention. It's not like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It's going to be some nutter jumping off a tree with a bit of rope attached to his leg. It's not an invention. My feet haven't touched the ground. I can't believe I'm getting in another plane. I have been in the air more than some pigeons. Pigeons seem to walk about on land more than I've been doing the last two days. I thought EasyJet was bad. Look at this. Fucking hell. Is he, like, in the cargo bay? <laughs> Just like the luggage, what the hell is that? Um, I love, I love when people have a problem admitting that they got scared of something. Um, sometimes part of my work, I work in the complete darkness, and um, part of the show that I do with my brothers at the theater and, and whatever, there's a part of complete, complete, complete darkness, and people are aware before they come. We we make sure they know, and um, a lot of people get scared and they have to go out and. Uh, <laughs> to admit it they never want to admit that they got scared it's always there's always having an excuse no you know i just got a call i gotta leave or oh no i kind of you know i didn't need anything so i kind of felt dizzy or they always have an excuse and they come out like just pale white <laughs> and it's beautiful um and i think it's just so funny when people can't admit like dude we got footage of two inches away from your face you were you were your pants were soiled. <laughs> you were scared, homie. There's no other... There's no way around it. There's, like, no other word for it. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, just about. I'm, I'm on a plane. I didn't... I didn't do it. I told you I didn't want to do it. It's dangerous, isn't it? I said before I left London I wasn't going to do it. I think you're taking the plane. What do you mean I'm taking the piss? I mean... If you could see where I am, I'm not taking the piss. This is no decent holiday, this. I'm sat with a load of luggage here, with my knees in the back of the pile of... You are! I've got to try and just control this, otherwise you're going to end up They're killing me. They're pushing out of the plane, aren't they? <laughs> he went from bungee to skydiving. OK, no. He's safe. We're good. Never mind. Scratch that. I should be enjoying this bit now, shouldn't I? Because 
your it own is land. nice, isn't it? But I've just got that little niggle of Ricky and Steve moaning at me because I didn't do that bungee jump. I've never heard that word before. If I come niggle? to the happiest place in the world and I'm not happy. It's like, what's up with me? I'm here to see this land diving thing, which is, you know, it's like the birth of the bungee, isn't it? If I keep saying no to stuff, it's like, will it get worse? I'm just thinking through my head about what this land dive is. If I don't do a land dive, what are they going to find for me tomorrow? It's like, Carl, get down to tarmac dive. Wait, but I think it's the other way around. I think it's if he would have done it, they would have been like, oh, we can get him to do anything. <laughs> and I think it would have been way worse than him denying that. Because they, I like, I think it's better this way because they realize if they try to push too hard, he will, you know, like say no. I, I, he has limits, people. Also, I've never heard the word niggle. Is it like a little voice in the back of your head, like saying, just repeating? Or is it a feeling? I've never heard that word before. Like, is it, I don't know, I don't know a comparable word. Like, for me, it'd be, I would have, like, them in the back of my head. I, I've never heard that word before. That was a weird word. And um, I'm glad he stood his ground. Day one. <laughs> Poor Carl. <laughs> So that's a land dive. That's yeah, where... yeah, it's a land diving. Oh my god. He will do this land diving. He oh will. God. Oh no, where... no, 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 no. No. You bring me to these places and expect, you know, just for me to fit in. Look at that for an image. And you're just oh dropping god, me in oh it. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is like the tower that Lisa and Bart had to climb. No, wait, I'm thinking of something else. There's a tower like this in an animated movie. It's either, oh man, my mind is all over the place. It's either the tower that Lisa and Bart had to climb up and do the vine thing um, in The Simpsons when they were like in the military school or whatever. That was a weird episode. Or it's like that big, huge, scary tower. I think this is it. The big, scary tower from Pen Trans Hotel Transylvania where the little kid has to climb up because they want him to fly and be a bad and be a vampire, but he wasn't a vampire, and then he was a vampire, and they, like, pushed him off it, and it was, like, re really high, and they closed it down because it was unsafe for ch kids or whatever. It looks exactly like that. I have no idea. I probably didn't explain that well, and m most of you are like, what the hell is she on? I swear I'm on nothing, but, um, yes, it looks exactly like that. And also, I cannot, this is where bungee jumping was invented. Holy guacamole. Carl, Carl, just calm down a minute. Just, why don't you just have a look at a few yeah, jumpers? Yeah, I will have a look, but he keeps... They're, they're expecting me to jump, and it's not going to happen. You, I'm surprised you think that I'd do that. that looks I'm happy so to go shady. up there and have a look, but I'm not doing the jump because I thought it was going to be smaller than that. Yeah, they build this special for you. So don't worry much. Many people come today to see much. the first white man to jump, so you will do it. He's the first white man to jump here? Definitely not. No. That's how you're going to do. I wouldn't do that either. Hell no. Looking Steve saying it's the island of happiness. I can't see him getting happiness out of that. <laughs> I mean, they look, look happy, happy and then pants they're wearing, but constantly happy. Why? Why? Oh, why? Is why? It 30 meters. What's wrong meters. with the person that films this? He's always and zooming what, in what on the knob area. Because I doubt I'll, I'll do it. I, I, are they? Are these people expecting me to do it from the top? Yeah, they want you to do it to the top. Yeah, but why? I absolutely love, love that this guy's shirt says "Discover What Matters" in a place like this. <laughs> Trying to convince Carl to jump <laughs> from the shadiest tower I've ever seen in my life. That is amazing. Why? Why? Jesus, that must kill your ankles. Gosh. You see, I've got a mortgage and things. I've got bills to pay. I don't think these people know what a mortgage what is. What a lunatic. Oh, he bottled it. He bottled it. What? Oh, God, oh, what is the crack? The fine, special fine. It's just dangerous. Oh, the little kid! Kids shouldn't be doing that. I mean, people at home say you shouldn't give Xboxes and Playstations to kids because they don't play out. If that's the alternative, <laughs> keep them in. Give them the Xboxes. <laughs> I don't want to be grabbing something. Do you know what I, mean? I have to feel that. At least they're covered, though, I think. 
I'm happy to have a dance with them. But that's not going to be enough for Ricky and Steve, is it, when they see that lad diving off there? They'll go, he did it, why can't you do it? What do you think I can get away with doing here? What would you be happy for me to jump from if I jump from the bottom bar? Is that, is that OK? okay. That's OK. Aww, they're cute. Does that count as a land dive? No. <laughs> Everybody agree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, if they say it's right, it doesn't matter what Ricky and Steve say, it's a land dive. I'm I love diving it. from there into the land. I love that they're not pushing him to do it. They're just accepting. Dude, this is like a, a really way to like break angles. I'm getting advice here from a cabbage. I've <laughs> 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 got sweat in my eye. <laughs> this is high that up. This. It's a lot higher than I thought. This. Dude, he's like, what is that? A foot high? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't go. even need to like pull of his rope or anything. Why is he so scared of this? Dude, I, I jumped from ledges higher than that. Sack of potatoes hitting the floor, dude. He he jumped from so low. It was like it was the least safe place to jump from. What is I? I gotta see this again. I'm sorry. This was I. I wasn't prepared. Oh my god. I love that they're celebrating him, even though that was just embarrassing. <laughs> okay. That's high. Let's get a move on. Probably got a plane to catch. Probably. Oh, my. oh did he hit his head? Jeez! Hello. All right. Where are you? I'm, I'm where I'm meant to be now at last. I'm in Vanuatu. Listen, I spoke to Steve and he was all a bit down on me and that, and you were calling me a chicken. I got there, did the proper land dive. After, the they were proper? all like carrying me about the local village. The proper? Did the proper land dive. After, they were all like carrying me about the local village, all throwing me about in the air. That was cute. They were loving it. Done it. <laughs> Did you do the real one, or did you do the child's version? But how high was it? I think you've got to be honest with Yeah, I know, how high? How high? It was the one below the child's one. It was about four, four foot, Carl. It was about... <laughs> it was about five foot. Liar! Five foot? Sorry, I high jumped higher than that. No, I think it was about five and a half foot. <laughs> he keeps adding. <laughs> basically, if you were falling over, he, your head, he basically your did. Head was a fall from a higher height <laughs> than it did during the That was embarrassing. <laughs> it was <laughs> under the child <laughs> one. If, if, I, if I punched Steve in the face, he falls over in his head. He's broken the record already. Yep. <laughs> at least you can admit, at least you can laugh at it, right? the desert island that place i don't know where this that is, is, this, is that all place I wanted. Pretty. this this is what i was picturing when i picked the desert island thing just relaxing enjoying my own company time to think seeing if my brain works different when i haven't got the stress of ricky around me 
Suzanne asking for stuff. Problems the... at home. The boiler. That should that 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 look's never going to happen. The starfish and the sausage never meet. I'm not enjoying it as much as I normally would. Why not? Because Ricky and Steve have sorted it out, and a bit of me is thinking, why are they doing this? It's almost like poor guy I can't relax. Being in a private hospital. Yeah, you're getting a comfy bed, you're getting good food. But tomorrow, you're having a leg off. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this isn't for me, is it? I'm not going on another plane, Luke. It's, it's pointless. No way. I don't think it's for him to go somewhere. I think something's coming to him. <laughs> All right. Seriously, how many more flights have we got to do on this? Because it's I think it's getting out of hand. I haven't even had my bag unpacked since I've been here. It's just been jumping on a plane, off a plane, on a plane, and now I've got to get to another really? island to get on another plane to get to another island. It's just doing me head in. It doesn't even make sense, this place, Vanuatu. 82 islands make it up, don't they? I mean, what? That how does awesome. that work? It's just in bits. It's like it's been blown up. Does he know what islands so is are? That, is that the volcano there to our right? Land of magic, land of fire. I, I, I'm not that happy being this close. I wouldn't be. Does that either. go off? Because they can splurt for miles, can't they? Because I hate burns. I hate it when I'm doing fried eggs. You get a bit of fat spitting out, lands on your hand. That's what this is like, just frying an egg. <laughs> this guy's comparisons are amazing. Uh, just got a text from Steve. Hello, Carl. I hope you enjoyed the five-star resort. <coughs> Sorry, mate, but the fun's over now. Time to go a little deeper and see how the locals live. A plane's taking you to the island of Tanna, where you'll meet a tribe who worship Prince Philip. Enjoy, Steve. I mean, what does he mean, there's a tribe that, that worship Prince Philip? How does that happen? How does that come about? Good question. Just when, you know, I, I think things can't get weirder, you say, yeah, I give these pictures of Prince Philip, a 90-year-old man, to a tribe in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Hi. Hi. Amy. What's your name? Hi. I'm Chey Chey. Chey Chey? Yeah. Chey Chey. And, and this is Albi, our greatest dancer, the uh, chief. He's the happiest man in the village. Is he? And he's the one to tell you the whole story about Prince Philip and our people. <laughs> Oh, Rain. Great. He's gonna tell you. Justin. He doesn't understand anything. Great. You like Prince Philip? Yeah. yeah. See his face. Let's see if he likes this. Yo, yo, your mom. You like him? You worship? Yeah, Show you this though. <laughs> Do you like this? Philip. Philip. Philip, mm -hmm. his wife. He was 90. Just a special coin they did. Five pounds. Quid. Five, five pounds. Five quid. Five pounds. Um, yeah. What? I think he was happy with it. It's fine. You can have that. I don't know where you're going to keep it. No, no hey. pockets. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. Solid. There you go. <laughs> he has friends now. <laughs> Cute. Are we far? Still? Hour. An hour? Yeah. An hour yeah. on, on this? Yeah. It's a truck. You're on a truck. You're not on a camel or a mule or something. You're on a truck. What are you complaining about? Well, You've been on four words. They all look like they're, uh, they're waiting for me. Yeah. Everyone what is waiting. So, is there anything I need to do? I'll just say hello. I'll just say hello. Hello. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me. So this is like a proper, uh, proper tribe, this. Even the doggy was, like, politely waiting. <laughs> These are the photos of uh, the Prince Philip. It is weird, isn't it? It is. I mean, here they are, proper tribe, you know, living half naked in a jungle. Uh, 
and yet they're like Prince Philip in some sort of God way. Again. God way. I can't get my head around how, how that came about, honestly. <laughs> What's this? What's, uh... You met him, then? Hang on, that's not real. That's the real. Well, how did you sort that out? Because most people who need to meet him, they do a Duke of Edinburgh award. You have to help old people across the road or that sort of thing, and you get, you get to get your foot in the door and you meet him. He invites us to meet him at the Windsor Castle in London. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. <laughs> it is weird. He's more shocked. I feel like he's shocked that they got to meet him and like he personally didn't ever. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of where that's coming from. You guys here in the middle of a desert island, I made an idiot abroad and I've never got invited. <laughs> like, I don't know. I felt like it was that kind of, he was more shocked about that than, than the bizarreness that this is. Weird. <laughs> They've got all these pictures up and they worship him. <coughs> but at least he exists. Some people worship stuff, you know, these gods and everything that you don't even know where they are. <coughs> you, you know, you, you certainly don't have a postcode for your god. They have. They can write him a letter. So he the chief will tell you they can. the whole story about the link between the Tana and the prince. <laughs> He's, he basically came here once. And ever since his visit, problems went away. So they worship him. I don't know if it's just a coincidence. I don't know if Philip did sort it. I've never known him to sort anything. But at the end of the day, it's making them happy. There you go. And if they're happy, they've got all the pictures up, gives them something to look at. You've got to have a hobby, haven't you? And that's their hobby, in a way. There you go. I want to tell you that the flag that we have raised here, you will be our defender. Now we will. Bit heavy, isn't it? I'm meant to be here to go on a desert island. Do they know I'm not powerful? I'm not a powerful figure. <laughs> I'm just a bloke from England. We depend on you, so now you promise that everything will be good. Oh, what he's like. Can I, I do? I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's, what's the main concern here. What, what are they worried about? I think it's just like an empty promise, I'm not quite Carl. Sure. I think. I mean, it's that's just... madness. When I was at school, my head teacher said Carl will never be a high flyer. I'm suddenly part of the UN, joining, <laughs> sorting out the world problems and everything. That's not me. That. I mean, that's. I think I said the right thing, didn't I? They don't need to worry. Everything's going to be good. Things change, but I think. I think it'll be all right. Thing. I'll, I'll carry on as you are. It's a bit sort of something that Obama would say or something. It? It's quite sort of positive. There you go. Good enough. Join the queue. Come in. Yeah. Thank you. Stay behind the same person, yeah? This is how we become more happier. Come. We dance. We share the dance. We dance together. We sing. We clap our hands. Stand our feet. Make us feel happy. <laughs> about keeping happy they said if they feel down have a dance and that's true isn't it if you can get your heart going it does make you happier <laughs> and i get my heart going by moaning when i get annoyed that's when my heart kicks in okay it's a win-win for me because my heart gets going horrible. when i'm having a moan and that makes me feel a bit better and if i'm happy i'm happy I'm happy, I'm happy now. No more dancing, I'm happy. <laughs> Over the moon. Woo! This guy well, doesn't have the best cardio. Oh, I'm sorry, what? what? Woo! That was all a bit full on, wasn't it? Oh, I, I don't, I, I still don't know what's going on. I don't know if I've been signed up to replace Prince Philip or what, but they, they all seem happy, so that's fine. There you go. And now Albie wants to take me down the road to the, the, the local volcano that he also worships. So, what can you do? How high up are we going? I've always thought it'd be handy having a volcano close to hand just to get rid of, you know, old mattresses, old chest of drawers you don't want. It's a pain in the arse at home, isn't it, when you've got to call the council 25 quid a time? Chuck it in that big hole. I'd love that at home. Some sort of big burning hole that you just chuck stuff in. Sure. Is it, is it, is it good luck to throw anything in? Oh. You're not allowed? We are not allowed to throw in anything. 
What's the point in having it then? <laughs> oh, okay, as, now. As if it were like man made. <laughs> What's uh, the point Carl, of having it? You must struggle to survive in hard places like this in the desert and learn to, to enjoy yourself. So our spouting is one of the things that can make you happy when you are in the desert. I was happy. Oh, I, I was, was happy when we were down there. <laughs> I was wondering what they were taking, like why they all had very weird shaped sticks. And I'm sorry, I think they're sledges. Fine. Now we're arse boarding. I've never heard of arse boarding. Arse boarding is lighting down in the oh, arse. your ass. Yeah. Okay, so there's the literally, literally, literally a word for that in Spanish. And it's literally the same thing as they put the R in there, but I pretty much hear ass boarding. Culo patin in Spanish. Same thing. Culo, but patin is, you know, sliding. So, same thing. Ask people to think when I do this. You're going to get a load of ash up your ass. I've got the wrong pants on. <laughs> so, what do you hold on to? There's you just fucked off without down. telling me what you do. Hang on, it's not. It's broke. Albie, can I borrow your sleigh? <laughs> this is knackered. He it's not gliding now, is it? Kind of like paddle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh, like a dog wiping its ass. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm good at, redesigning stuff, making it work for me. Works a lot better. That's just what I want to do on my desert island. Oh, my God. Find stuff, make it work for me. There you go. That was... I'm loving the it. They're not doing... Did you say he was the happiest the or the maddest man on the island? He was the happiest. He's loving it. <laughs> Have you ever done the thing when you roll down the hill? Let's share some fun. Yeah, let's have a roll. Then. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just getting... I, I'd watch say that. happiness <laughs> is like having a cake. If you had a cake every day, you get sick of that cake. And if you're happy all the time, you get sick of being happy. <laughs> that's, that's a good saying, actually. <laughs> Happiness is like a cake. Have too much of it, you get sick of it. Right, somebody write that down. <laughs> New message. This guy. this guy is something else. Um, I'm quite a happy person, and... Um, I have my moments where I'm not happy, obviously, but um, I, I never, I do not get tired of being happy, um, and I don't think I know anyone that gets tired of being happy. I've, I've heard a lot of people getting tired of not being happy, but um, I've never, I've never seen a person have an issue with excess happiness. So this this guy is just very interesting. Hello mate. Uh, just one more plane ride and uh, another night for you with uh, a tribe. And Ricky and I found you <laughs> your very own sort of uh, man Friday, alright, to help you survive your night on a, on a desert island alone, alright? I don't know why we're messing around so much meeting all these tribes. I've met I've met one. But met a tribe. Lovely. It'd be better be different. If I get on there and there's a bloke with a He's nobbing some wicker. I'll be annoyed. I've seen that. He's what? Is, Ma is the man Friday I'm meeting there? He's, he's one of the chief's sons. Well, this is his chief. Chief Keramut. Yeah. What's your language that you speak? My language is Nde. This tree here is a palm tree, but you say Nindindip. Nindindim. Nindindip. But we usually eat the fruit. We call it Naho. Naho? Yes. That one there, we call it Nindi. Lots of it's ends. all N? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everything yes. begins with N? Everything begins with N. Mm. What's that? OK. Uh, it's a leaf. It's a leaf. <laughs> leaf. And we call it <laughs> Nu Ho Ni. Nu. It begins with N. <laughs> Don't you run out of options? It's a leaf. <laughs> As if you moron, how do you not know that? <laughs> oh my 
my God, man, my face hurts. You see, do your kids play... Have you heard of a game, mm. I Spy? Yes. You say, I spy with my little eye, mm. something beginning with yes. N. Mm. They can't play that here. There's no way they'd play it. Mm. It'd be well boring. It'd be out all day. We are going to see where people are lying. This is where people are lying? Yes. Oh! What the hell? Jesus. Human? Yes, a woman. What was her name? Nicole. Nicola? Yes. It's making carver. Need some sort of root. Chop it up, pop it in that thing, crush it up, add a bit of water. That's what we're going to be drinking there, which I'm a bit worried about, because everyone's sticking their hands in it. You look at this and you go, looks different. It's all a bit weird, pants they wearing and all that, but at the end of the day, everyone loves a drink, don't they? But I couldn't be arsed, I don't think, doing this every day. What else do they have See, it to worries do? me. If tomorrow I wake up and they're going, oh, you're, you're a good sport, you drank the car, you at the pork, pop a pair of pants on. I'm not wearing them pants. I know Ricky kept going on about pants. <laughs> I don't think I'd pop I don't know pants. what the rules are. What happens if, if they say, yeah, I'll pop these on? These are a pair of the Chiefs underpants. It's a real privilege. I'm not putting on warm pants. <laughs> What? All right, mate. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't answer. That's a good sign. Hopefully they've taken away your mobile phone. You don't need that where you're going. You're going back to nature, <laughs> your own desert island. And don't forget, Carl, just you with nothing but sand, sea, sunshine, and your little pants. That is an experience of a lifetime. See you later, boy. I don't know what's happening today. The, the chief son, apparently, he's, he's going to be going on the desert island with me. But before he does that, I've got to give him this gift uh. of a pig. Yeah. Great, innit? Never don't met him before. You'd think a box of chocolates or a bunch of grapes would be enough, but I've got to give him a pig. Some sort of tradition or something. So I'd give you the pig, you give me this. A bit of barter, bartering. Does he have to kill the pig? No. That pig makes you an honorary tribe member. And this morning, the tribe would like to honour your presence by presenting you with your own Nambas, native pants. We knew it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. We have to give the uh, Nambas to you. I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not too worried about that. Mm. Don't, don't trouble yourself. I'm quite happy. You've, you've made me welcome, mm. stayed the night, you've gave me carver. You don't have to give me any more. You give that to us, we keep your numbers. It's our kind of respect. Where, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little lost, though, because he's supposed to be gifting the pig, but the pig was already there. They already had it tied up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody comes over and I'm like, okay, you have to give me this so that I can give you this. <laughs> like, what? No, um, I thought gift giving was a little bit different, but whatever. Not judging. I'm just saying it's odd to me right like that's not what i thought gift giving was and um just wear the pants carl there there, there are more pants than anywhere else other tribes you've been these are more pants skirt tutu they're more there's more <laughs> coverage i think so just wear the pants i thought i've I, I, you know i've tried to fit in but this is a bit of a big ask for me i just thought i was coming to learn some skills I, I'm, the, the pants are not an issue for me. I've got lots of underwear whilst I'm on the desert island. It's getting a little run. I know, oh. I know it is, yeah, it is awkward. <laughs> then we have to do a dance here. Yeah. See, they're adding a bit more now. It's pop the it's pants on, dance. then have a dance, and that's when things pop out. But I brought them a pig. They should be well happy with that. Why Where do they want the to see me prancing from? about in some leaf pants? That's going to be out there on YouTube forever, me walking about with me knob out like that. You see, th this is normal. We've already seen so many things out on YouTube. Uh, I just, like, in the first 10, 15 minutes of this, I saw him fall flat on his face from a four-foot-high, like, little bar. Like, that was way more embarrassing. 
Can he not, like, just try to, you know, keep his underwear on and then put the leaf pants above it? And if they say, no, no, you got to lose the underpants, like, be like, oh, but I, you know, we're filming this. There are rules. I can't have all my junk out. But, like, meet it, in, you know, meet it in the middle, like, halfway. Like, put it over some, you know, underwear. Just kind of. I don't know, because, like, it, it, it is getting awkward, and it is getting disrespectful, and all those weird words. Um, like, I, if it were me, and I had such a big problem with it, I would try to meet it halfway, you know? Just to make an outfit out of all the things. <laughs> all for you, but for me, this, this will go on the TV. And my mum, my dad, oh, what's Carl been up to? <coughs> I'm dancing around with stuff on show. It's all there to see, isn't it? I if it was a Christmas present, you, you wouldn't be getting any surprises. You go, I know what that is. You see, it's, I've, I've seen other Nambas, and there's lots of grass, lots of cover. Um, yours is slightly different. Do you know, when cheap. I was sat in there last night in the hut, and I was looking at it, I thought, quite fancy some sushi. That's what it looks like, a bit of wrapped up cod in a leaf. I'm not wearing it. The guy yeah. looks like sushi. They can trust you like this. Yeah, like that, that's yeah. good. Yes. Like that. Yeah. And I can go. leave me yeah. pants on. Yes. There you go. Compromise. Nice. Well, it wouldn't have been much better if it had gone the other way and wore the number, so it's a lose-lose. It's a, it's a this isn't a lose-lose. This is, this is compromise. This is good. Aw. <laughs> Tinkerbell would wear or something, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I would wear that with a pair of sandals and a black shirt, you know, just outside. I love it. It looks awesome. But the amount of leaves they had to put is just, it's, it's great. It's too funny. I love it. It looks like a fairy. <laughs> You're going to go with my son here, John. And two of you are going to the Christmas Island. It's been an idea. So John's going to teach me everything yes. I need to know how to use this. Yes. How to, how to build fire, bow and arrow kind of fish, thing. Fish, cook. Yes. Everything. Yeah. John. Hi, right, John. Good to see you. All right then. John doesn't look too happy about this arrangement, though. Is this I feel like shelter? he felt disrespected. I don't know. I don't think there's everything you might need on the island, Carl. I mean. Um, I mean, he's here to teach you what you need to know. Surely you should be getting involved a bit here. Um, I think I'm that type who, when I need to do something, I can do it. I don't have to... Jesus. Cutting Sting wouldn't be happy, would he? How big's this hook going to be? Chuck him on the beach. Yeah. I'll see that over there. That, that would be your desert island, mate. Are they making veils, like, veils? Not as big I as I thought. Boat. I was picturing the bounty advert. It's a Fanta, They've sure. They've been conned again, haven't they? He's pissing it down. I'm on my way over to a muffin. It's not even that far away, am I? I'm hardly escaping everyone, am I? A I muffin. thought it was meant to be, like, in the middle of nowhere, peace and quiet. How does he find a way to complain Fucking about freezing. everything? The first thing was too many leaves. How big is the hut gonna be? If it was a small hut, he would have complained that it was too small. It's a it's a desert island that's actually close. If anything actually seriously, you know, bad happens, he's right there. Like you know, they can get help. And he's, come on, Carl, a little bit more positivity, please, sir. <laughs> come on, John. Muffin. Pretty muffin. It's just a bad start. It's like moving on a rainy day, this. You're getting all the stuff wet. Oh. It's all God forbid rock. the leaves get wet. I haven't even started yet. The leaves are all damaged. Gotta try and get this done. Oh my god, dude. 
Okay, there it is. Every time Ricky said that he was going to be on a des desert island, it was going to be sunshine. Every time. And I said several times, how does he know it's going to be sunny? It's going to be sunny. It's going to be gray. How does he know? And like the universe <laughs> heard that conversation and said, you know what? Nope. <laughs> I love that it's raining. Like, it, how do they plan these things? Like, it's just, it's too perfect. It's too freaking perfect. Here. Here's ideal. Because a little bit of shelter from the wind in that little hole. Tie it. Actually, I've got some string. That would be so John. cool to learn. Yeah, use the string. Yeah, let's just get it done. Get it done. It's fine. More rocks around the bottom. This yeah, guy yeah. knows use what that. he's doing. Just Ducks let's it. get the roof on. I mean, I honestly think... So this is just too good. They told the guy he was going to the desert island. He bought string, duct tape, Fanta. <laughs> this guy is just too much. People at home. Love it. Won't think I'm in the South Pacific. It's chronic. You shouldn't be making a shelter. You should be building an ark. <coughs> should have brought more of this. Never thought I'd be running out of gaffer here. This wasn't what I expected, was it? So I think uh, at the end of the day, I think I'm entitled to change the rules a little bit. Put my coat on in a minute because this isn't doing anything. In fact, I think I think the skirt's growing without that much rain. I'm not sure Ricky would be happy about this, Carl. I don't give a shit. <laughs> There's no way he'd be putting up with this. Sort of ruining the look, isn't it? Well, that'd be a great look, was it? I got one. I'm a wee bit bothered that he's not offering anything or at least not on camera maybe he is and they just didn't show it anything to john i believe it was open the fanta didn't say hey you want some put it on jack he has clothes and like in his backpack and it's like he could be like dude it's cold do you want you want a shirt i got i got a shirt like offer i he could reject it obviously maybe whatever but um, sharing is caring <laughs> Pop it over, over your head. Keep warm. Oh, you don't have yeah, a shirt to get? There. Okay. Aw, oh, and you put it on. Put the leaves okay, on. Okay, never mind. I said nothing. Dude, I just, it's second before. Okay, my bad, my bad. He shared. What's going on he with cared. the fishing? There isn't any. There's none knocking about. Nothing. Nothing here. It's been me and John sat here all day. Built this, which I think is pretty good going, considering it's been pissing it down. You swanned off over there, fucking filling your big fat face. And I thought you'd come back with something. It's not lighting. It's wet. You'd survive, wouldn't you, in this situation? That must be so I'm not hard to do this. with wet wood. But John knows his stuff. All right, John. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my home. You're leaving. I'm leaving now. Taro here. Taro? Yeah. Roast it over the fire. How long? Probably an hour. Thanks again, John. Okay. Goodbye. Cheers. So basically, I'm eating that sort of raw potato for tonight. It's not raw if you cook it. Ricky gave us something for when John left, in case you weren't able to sort of deal with your own company. He thought maybe you'd like a little, um, little friend. Wilson. Where's the old? What a jerk. <laughs> so that's all he gave me, is it? What a jerk. That. <laughs> well, what am I meant to do that? What's the point of that? You've never seen Castaway. Look at it. Look at it. She's gonna wind me up, that. That's the point. She's angry. When I was in the hotel, that nice hotel that Rick and Steve put me in, I took this, because when I opened the kitchen cupboard, it made me smile, right? It just says eggs on legs. It's an egg cup. I've had that out three times since I've been sat here in the pissing down rain. It annoys me now. And that's the thing with happiness, you can't just ask for it on demand. And what might seem like a good idea one day, when it happens, it's shit. 
like this egg cup. It was good the other day. I was relaxed. I was full. I wasn't cold. I wasn't piss wet through. I'm starving. He doesn't have his pants getting on. Getting wet all does the he? time. I hate getting wet. Wet socks is one of my biggest hates. Wet socks are annoying. Annoying. I know, I know, because he got wet. He, oh my God. <laughs> they got footage of him on a desert island without pants on. <laughs> not even a skirt, nothing. Ah. It's just like nothingness. Sort of a cross between wood and cardboard. Mm, delicious. How's it going? Desert Island. Did it. Done. What's next? Yeah, that was the easy bit, sitting on a, sitting on a beach. It wasn't that easy, was yeah. it? It was hardly a beach. There was no sand. It was all rocky, sharp stuff. I had to sleep on it, getting up my arse, in my kidneys, piercing the lung. It wasn't the comfiest night of my life. <laughs> sat down to do a crossword. It was something like, what's the American version of a prawn, which is shrimp. Now I've relaxed, I know the answer. At the time, I was struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact, this was meant to be like a Robinson Crusoe experience, but it was, it was more like a, a pensioner uh, on barking a beach. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I like, isn't it? I like sort of being older. I'm looking forward to that. Did you get my okay. present? Have we got a present for you? Yeah, we've got a present for you. Look, look at that. Well, what, what, what use was that on a desert island? <laughs> to keep you company. Just to think of me, just go, uh, in times of hardship, you go, at least Ricky's always here. At least I've got Ricky. Yeah, uh, no. Would that have made it better or worse if I'd have been there? You with a nambas on. Stinger <laughs> nightmares, that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Little bouncy. <laughs> All right, then. See you later, man. All right, see ya. They seem to be getting along better. He, they made him a lovely little hut, though. Like, he um, had Ricky shelter. did say he wanted that football back. Got 36 hours on a plane to get back home. I'm carrying that as hand luggage. A little reminder of that little annoying face. He's not, he's not getting it. I was waiting for this. There you go. Finally. <laughs> waiting for that one. When you finally get to do the well, thing that you want, you realise it's not the thing you want. The problem is it's someone else's list, isn't it? I've gone into a like a pick and mix and I've picked the things that I've picked because that's what's there. That's what I said. I might have gone in wanting licorice, but they haven't got any, so I've ended up having cola cubes. Typical, isn't it? Day I'm leaving, the sun comes out. And the it's universe is Lock. against. Yep, 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 yep. Against, yep. Pilkington Luck. That was fun, dude. I can see. I can definitely see why this season is going to be even better. Oh my god, does this man. <laughs> I can also see why his next, like, series thing is called uh, Moaning of Life. Jeez, and he saw like the happiest tribes and the happiest people and just like people that just sung and danced and, and, and just were, you know, invented bungee jumping to have a thrill and have fun and nothing, none of that rubbed off on him. <laughs> he even like dancing was like a hassle to him. This guy's awesome. I love it. I love the show and I cannot wait to watch more. This was great. I'm so excited. Um, this was just awesome. I just, I love, I, just whoever edits this is freaking brilliant. I am not bungee jumping. Well, technically you didn't do it, but the, the fact that it was edited, I am not bungee jumping and putting on like all the, 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 <laughs> the gear and stuff, brilliant. And then, you know, the sunny thing and then the rain and then just so much, so much of it is just perfect. It's all perfect. I love it. <laughs> So, I have no idea where he's going next time or what the bucket list item thing will be. Wait, though, is it... 
Because there are a hundred things to choose from. I don't know how many episodes this is going to have. The first one had like eight. So I imagine around there, like 10, 13 maybe. But okay, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's like one episode, one thing off the list per episode or if there's several things. I guess this was two, the bungee jumping, uh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I mean, this, this, it's hard not to enjoy this guy. This guy is just, it's, it's brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. He's just so much fun. He's so entertaining. So there you go. Um, thank you for everything. Thank you for su your support. And thank you, special thank you to everybody that is about to appear on screen. You guys just help me more than you know. And I am very, very, very grateful.